for you, I think um, a fun meditation is just probably you already do this to a certain extent. Is just visualizing your future. Mm. So, um, so basically, I'll, I'll talk about I'll talk about that, and I'll talk about what my personal meditation practice is. So, when you visualize your future, you know you're just gonna want to close your eyes. We can do it right now. Okay, yeah, do it right so, now. Yeah, so, yeah. Okay. Okay. Everybody, if you're not driving, come join <laughs> join in. Yeah, and even if you're driving, you can kind of do it. Just don't do the closing <laughs> your eyes part. <laughs> um, so, so we're just gonna close our eyes. Okay. And take a deep breath in. And release. Deep breath in. Release. One more deep breath in and release with a sigh. <sighs> so now we can just continue breathing normally and give our body like a chance to just relax from the head to the toes. And as we relax our body, we just can feel the tension in our back releasing, tension in our jaw releasing, tension in our stomach releasing, arms, hands, legs. And so now we're going to drop down into a chair. Imagine that we're sitting in a chair in a big open field. And while we're imagining that, we see a big screen, like a projector screen coming down from the sky. Um, and all around it is dark lights. So like, like a screen and all around it, bordering it is dark lights. So on the screen now, we're going to see the way that th things are happening in our current life, maybe that we don't like. So whether that be, um, you know, maybe it's difficult to find work or maybe, you know, you're having difficulties at home with your family, whatever that thing is, you're going to see that on the screen with the dark lights all around it. And so in a second, we're gonna imagine a giant switch, like a giant light switch next to us um, on our left side. And we're gonna, in a moment, flip that switch on. And when we flip the switch on, it's gonna turn all the dark lights bright, like very, very, very bright all around the screen. So let's do it. Let's switch that light switch on, switch. And now there's lights, lights all around the screen and now we're visualizing the perfect end result so whatever the difficult thing that you were experiencing with the dark screen now you're seeing it resolved so let's say that's a difficulty you maybe were arguing with your mom or your friend or something now you see that you're hugging your mom or your friend and that relationship is is resolved or if you're having a difficult time getting clients at your business now you see tons of clients coming in um, into, your, into your business easily and effortlessly. For me, I see myself performing on stage at the Waikiki Shell with over a thousand people. It's so fun and exciting. And we see it with the bright lights. The, the bright lights are getting brighter all around the screen and we see the perfect end result. So maybe for Kamaka, he has, you know, the rock on his podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it's so cool that like, he's got the rock. And, and now his podcast is getting a lot of, you know, exciting legitimacy and going around, you know, all around the world. Um, and people are really recognizing um, the importance of Hawaii and the importance of our culture and, and of the service that he's bringing. Right. So. 
So now we're going to just feel into that for a second, feel what that feels like. Like, what does that feel like to perform at the Waikiki Shell in front of a, over a thousand people? What does that feel like to be interviewing The Rock and that video is, you know, getting millions and millions of views and really making a positive impact on people worldwide? So we're just going to feel into that for a second. So with that feeling, we're just going to hold it in our hearts as we come back to our bodies, wiggle our toes, wiggle our legs, wiggle our hands, and come back into our seat as we open our eyes, come back to the present moment. Yeah, so that's that's so that's the visualization meditation. That was awesome. <laughs> I felt relaxed and like I as soon as uh you mentioned the rock, I was like smiling and like, oh yeah, that's cool. <laughs> I was I was, my visualization was me not being injured. <laughs> oh okay. and just like break dancing. I don't know how to break dance, but like I feel like if I was super healthy I could break dance. <laughs> so it was like me doing windmills and stuff. And, like, oh that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> running around and doing parkour and stuff. <laughs> oh that's so cool. Yeah. Well that's cool. That's it reminds me of like yoga yoga, you know, when like the instructors telling you to do all, do all of that. Do you do yoga? Um I've done it a few times though I never really got super into it. Yeah, yeah. But it's more this like the the meditation aspect of it. Yeah. That was cool. I hope everybody had a really cool experience with that yeah have you taught it before because you were so good at it uh, i haven't really taught it like in a like in a serious setting mm -hmm. i've done it with friends and stuff mm -hmm. just to support them you know um but yeah so that's the visualization meditation which might be good for you because your mind's always wandering so it helps you focus on yeah, something that was good because i wasn't thinking about anything else except what you're talking about awesome there's probably yeah. guided stuff on youtube as well right yeah absolutely yeah. And so like the, the whole point of this, um, and I actually learned this from Sai Seminars, which is the seminar that I was talking about that my parents mm -hmm. took. Um, that particular visualization is to help you to, um, to manifest your future. Because what happens is like, when we can see, like visualize the thing that we wanna create in our future and then put an emotion to it, that starts to draw it towards us. And I don't know exactly, I don't wanna get into the, the details of how that works. You know, maybe it's that, our minds are more open to opportunities that will mm -hmm. lead us in the right direction or whatever it is, regardless of what it is, from what I've experienced, like I remember visualizing myself winning the World Yo-Yo Contest mm -hmm. and holding my trophy. And I remember like thinking like, this is so cool I won, like in my head, you know, this is before I actually won and I was like kissing the trophy, like, mm -hmm. and I would see like, you know, just everybody being so excited and stuff. And then I remember when I was standing on the stage and I had actually won the World Yoga Contest, I was like, oh my gosh, yeah, I totally visualized, visualized this. I manifested it. And you, know? you hear that happen a lot with athletes and mm -hmm. um, in, in other careers as well, where yeah. they're like, I dreamt of this moment, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. yeah. The power of the mind, power of belief, all of that. That's, that's awesome. Man, it's just surprising. I thought this, you're just like a, a yo-yo guy. <laughs> you're dropping all these gems on us. <laughs> yeah. 